Hey guys, what's up? Cinema 11 here. Um, today I'll be doing a video that I was originally going to do, um, I think this was, uh, this is either the day the chapters came out or a few days after it, because, um, let me check, uh, this video was originally uploaded on the 19th, which is, oh yeah, that was Wednesday, and the chapters came out on Tuesday. So, um, I'll, uh, just read what I wrote, because, um, that explains everything. I'm sorry if you don't like my reading voice, but whatever. I wish I could be angry over this. This video was originally nine minutes long discussing Neji and the fans of Naruto. Most of it was, most of it was pretty darn good, if I say so myself. The one downside to not writing some of my videos is the fact that if the video doesn't work out, I have nothing to return to if I wanted to remake the video. This video is completely scripted. Sorry, uh, <laughs> sorry if my reading voice is bad. This video might go over nine minutes due to the fact that I have new details to add and I have to try to remember some. Now that that is out of the way, I will begin the new video. So basically, we have these Naruto, these so-called Nar, these so-called fans of Naruto lashing out at Kishimoto for killing Neji off. I really don't understand it. For the longest I've heard reviewers on YouTube saying that he should kill characters that we know. Now we have these random fans who are saying that he should bring Neji back. Neji even isn't a Neji isn't even a big deal in part two. What do you want him back for? I for one don't even care. At the end at the end of the day, it's his story and we shouldn't care how he writes it. I would have preferred for the Hugo clan to shine more just for the fact that the Sharingan is constantly advancing and we have this new eye introduced in part 2 called the Renegon that is still stronger than the Byakugan. I want the eye to advance or at least give the user some more jutsus. Sasuke, Naruto, Madara, and Obito are probably the strongest characters in the series so far. The Leaf Village Ninja have been left behind. I'm sure Naruto is stronger than Kakashi now. Smarter? I don't know about that. Neji dying might be a good thing. I think Naruto might turn into a new form of the Nine Tails. I know him and Kurama are friends now, but come on. I'm pretty sure Naruto might get angry and somehow forget that he can control the fox now. And he does he, um he doesn't have complete control. He had eight tails the last time, you know, when he was fighting pain. I know it's a far fetched idea, but I'd like to see the Nine Tails. Another thing is that um, Naruto's forms are kind of confusing. Why does he have a tailed beast form? We haven't seen any of the other Jinchuriki use this form. I'm sure of it. I think the other ones have actually transformed into the actual beasts like um, Gara and B. Well, Gara did turn into a mini version of the One Tail, but yeah. Neji was Naruto's friend. A friend, a friend dying in your arms. That's got to pull on the heartstrings. I'm sure this will become symbolic in some way later in the series, you know, like Naruto saying, I'll never let another friend die again, blah blah blah, I'll protect Sasuke, blah blah blah, I'll protect my so-called friend even though he has nothing to do with the current situation, blah blah blah, I'm going to become Okage, believe it. It will, um, it will help his development as a character. Naruto is basically enraged whenever someone has tried to protect him. Sas Sasuke tried to protect Naruto from Haku and he used the Nine Tails Chakra. When Pain took Hinata down, Naruto lost it. Those are the only two situations I could think of, but those are um, two good examples in my opinion. Hinata may grow as well. Her and Neji were cousins. Maybe this will inspire her to use some new techniques and surpass Neji. Because if you remember in the original series when you had Neji um, <clears throat> fighting Hinata, he beat her. And she was coughing up blood and all this stuff. Um, my whole problem with Neji's death was the was the fact that he didn't do that much in part two. I swear, Sasuke had at least three people he wanted to fight when he was younger in part one: Neji, Gara, and Lee. Only one of those happened. He can't fight them now. Sasuke and Naruto are like gods now. I would have preferred for Neji to have gotten stronger, shown um shown some new strength new techniques and done more. What can I remember in part two is um him fighting a clone of himself or something. He fought Kisame for a bit and he fought a Zetsu. 
He also had the whole thing where there was a Zetsu running around as him killing Ninja off. That was a fun little mystery, I guess. I guess, um, I guess it could help even help advance the other characters, like help them develop maybe Lee and Tintin. Um, actually, the story in part two focuses too much on Naruto and Sasuke advancing. I would prefer for everyone to advance as well. I want to see Lee and Guy use all the gates. I want to see Tintin actually do more. When I was younger, I always thought that something was up with her because she used weapons and didn't have that many. She didn't have any jutsus, and if she does have a jutsu, I, I, if she did have one, I think it's like involving weapons. So I don't know. I, I just like the other characters more because the techniques were more varied between uh, each each of the characters, and um, you know, they actually had you know blast attacks and you know punches. You know. Let me just give a few examples. You know, Naruto has the Uzumaki Barrage. You have Sasuke, who's taking techniques from other people and turning them to his own. And, you know, you have Kiba, who uses his dog. Lee, who does Taijutsu and can't do any jutsu, any ninjutsu. And you have Hinata and Neji doing the, um, what is it, like, eight Tigrams or something like that. Oh my god, I forgot what their techniques are called. <laughs> okay, whatever. Kakashi could get stronger. Um, maybe he could try to develop his Kamui more. He's a copycat ninja. Maybe he actually knows some more awesome jutsus. I just want to see more from Kakashi. And, you know, overall, I want to see more from everyone else. Sakura is pretty boring, in my opinion. She's strong now. So what? Um, Shino has bugs, but what else can they do? I, I think Shino would be very powerful, but we just haven't seen what he can do. And... Maybe he's not powerful then. Uh, Shikamaru actually has gotten some decent character development in part two. I really like that. Ino can do one or two jutsus from what I can remember. Her jutsu is helpful, but that's about it. If you can stop that jutsu, then you, you've pretty much beaten Ino. Choji has his butterfly wings now, so I can't really judge him. I think Gara might uh, might be a worse fighter since he lost the um the one tail. Tamari deserves a fight. You know, it'd be cool to see Tamari fight again. I know they had the whole filler fight in the anime with Tamari fighting, um, what's his name? Uh, Komohamaru, yeah. Kiba needs to use the human beast combination transformation double headed wolf again. Whoa, that was a long uh, attack name or transformation or whatever. I'm just saying, you know. Kiba, he had that really cool technique, and he only used it once. If you look up these characters, most of their development is is in part one. Part two is bare except for the main cast. I think Obito is crazy, and if he um if he can, he will start killing off characters like crazy, and they will barely get a death like Neji. Ne Neji's death had no build up. He basically died in the the chapter, and I know Kishimoto doesn't have to do this, but I just like characters having a build up and having, you know, a bit more screen time. If they're gonna die, you know, they're not gonna be present in the series anymore. And you know, the only um the only way Neji's gonna be present is probably like flashbacks for Naruto and Hinata and you know, remembering Neji's last words <laughs> and that's about it. I actually gained a new thing to discuss for this video. People don't uh People don't think that the, the character of Neji should be brought back. Basically, Neji is dead, and there's a possibility more characters will die. So if Obito were to be converted to the good side by Naruto and Kakashi, he could use the Rene Tensei to bring back all the fallen ninja, but that will be ending Obito's life. I personally don't mind characters being brought back to life. It happened during the Pain arc. Seriously, we would be missing a few characters if Pain didn't bring them back. I don't like characters we know being killed. It's just my personal opinion. That's my only explanation. Some might say I don't have a good argument. Well, what's your argument for saying he should leave the characters dead? Seriously, this isn't even real life. In real life, if someone dies, they're gone forever. It's a manga. Just chill out. Just chill out, have fun, enjoy the ride, enjoy Naruto while it's here. Dragon Ball Z did this, and it's one of the best-selling series out there. Um, I, th I believe it's one of the best selling Shonen Jump series, just like, to correct that, I don't want to uh, have incorrect information in the video. 
I, I love Dragon Ball Z, don't you? I mean, it was, uh, bringing characters back to life was needed in the series. It was needed in the series to progress and also needed to, you know, just like protect the Earth. Because if you didn't have Goku, I'm pretty sure the Z Fighters couldn't do that much. You only had Gohan. Gohan. To protect. Gohan fighting Cell. But, you know, Goku had to come back to fight Majin Buu. If you go onto Facebook, you can just see flan uh, fans pleading with Kishimoto to bring Neji back to life. I didn't know Neji was such a popular character. Someone even said that Neji's death was useless. That person is an idiot, and I have explained it in the video uh, how Neji is not useless. If you haven't been listening, then just click off the video. Um, I was going to do a video on plot holes, but I don't know. I don't know any. Um, I was going to try to disprove all the plot holes in the series of Naruto. If you know some, please tell me. It's not a plot hole if you don't give the author time to explain it. Seriously, one chapter comes out and you guys are like, oh my god, plot hole, Kishimoto, do you see what you have done? Naruto sucks now and my life is ruined, blah blah blah, internet trolling. I think the Ten Tails is going to turn into an, an Ivysaur or a Venusaur. I guess you could say Kishimoto is a fan of Pokemon. I don't know, I don't really mind what the manga is currently going, but I'd like to see what um, Sasuke is up to. I actually had an idea for a video a few months ago discussing death and why people care so much about it. If you want a video like that, I'll make it. Some reactions to Neji's death make even um, make me even question who's a fan of Naruto and who's not. You read it every week online, yet you act like the author is an idiot who can't write a series. Do you really hate the series, or are you actually just ignorant? Seriously, this guy has to make a manga chapter every week, and there's a complicated process to making a manga. What are you so grumpy about when you actually... You don't even buy the series. Some people don't buy the series. Seriously, they just read the chapters online. If you don't like it, try to discuss it in a sensible matter or write your own story. Because I'm tired of seeing all these people just complaining about Naruto every single week. And then you have these people who say One Piece is perfect. And, you know, I'm not caught up on One Piece. I enjoy it. And I think it has a very good story. But, <laughs> I don't know. That's like my only argument. Um... Feelings on Neji's death are very mixed. While I like the character, he had basic to no development in part 2. I had very little attachment to the character and even got spoiled before reading the chapter. Dying without any build up kind of makes it bad. This death may help development for characters such as Hinata, Guy, Naruto, Lee, and Tintin. Obito's so called death is still the saddest death in Naruto for me. What are your thoughts? Neji dies and the Naruto fans re revolt. If you're reading Naruto online, please buy the official volumes or read it on Shonen Jump Alpha. You're stealing. Where you can find some 11, you know, my Twitter and Facebook will be below. And rest in peace, Neji. You are a genius. Okay, what the heck? I, I was listening to my video and I actually remembered that I forgot a detail that was in the original video. Um, basically, I was saying that Naruto... Um, Having Neji die in his arms will help him develop as a character, and maybe that will help push him towards his goal as a Hokage, basically saying, I'll never let this event happen again, I'll never let another friend die in my arms, and I'll never go back on my ninja word, something like that. Um, yeah. <laughs> Bye.